Hey everybody, this is Pokemon Bri hopping in here again. Before getting into today's video, I just want to remind you guys of the giveaway that I have going on for the month of February. It is for this PSA 9 Amazing Rare Rayquaza. In order to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is make sure you're a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite poll is from today's video. The winner will be announced in the video that I drop on March the 1st. I also have listed below the winners for the giveaway that I ran last week. I didn't have an opportunity to make a video over the weekend, so I do apologize. But if you see your name listed below, it has instructions on how to reach out to me to claim your prize. For the uh, main part of this video, we are finally seeing deals on Paldean Fates. Uh, pack prices are dropping. These right here are the GameStop uh, deal that they have going on. They a buy three, get one free. So you end up getting these uh, four tins for about 30 bucks, which brings the price per pack down to 375. So we've uh, dropped down from the normal price, which is about five bucks a pack. Now you're finding them for 375. Hopefully these continue. Uh, the you know find them on special because 151 really didn't go that route. So uh, it's nice to see that uh, Paldean and Fates has with some specials on them. It does have inside of these tins because we haven't opened these before. Uh, this is actually the first time I've seen them. It comes with the I the I, the sticker as well as it looks like just a uh, a card and there's uh, one two three. Okay, so there's five. So I have four of them here. So all together they'll make this uh, sweet design, which on pa past tens should be on the back here. So if you get all five and you put all five cards stickers together, that is the display we'll end up making. Pretty cool. So we're gonna dive into these though. This will land us with eight packs. Again for that, like that price point where we're under four dollars a pack. We're getting uh we're getting down there. They also had some other items that was also included in the uh, buy three, get one free. It was pretty much anything that was under $19.99. And unfortunately, I, I tried to do it as, you know, any way possible to stack their other deal where they have, uh, they give you $25 off if you spend 250. So I was like, all right, well, can I get like a mix of different products? All Paldean Fates. Couldn't do it. Anything that was the buy, buy three, get one free. There was not a way to do in-store pickup for it uh, to get that additional. It comes to like 10% off. So we have eight packs here. We are working on closing out the set. And hopefully we can do that pretty soon. We still have those two big cards. The, uh, the Mew and the Charizard that we're after. So, hopefully, we get one of them here. Start off the week solid. We get in that pack a Heat, a Heat, Heat Rom. Heat Rotom. Wow. Two days not opening packs, and that's what happens. Um, actually, I did open some packs over the weekend with, um, with my family, so I can't say it's been two days that I haven't done it. Uh, Gimme Ghoul, Le Chonk. Execute, Oinkalung, Clyde. Uh, he is a cool trainer gallery also. Uh, Prime, if we, so we start out with our first poll here. We got a Tinka Tink. Shiny. This is where the hardest part of completing the set comes from, is all these shinies. So I do a lot of um, trading cards over Reddit. And... It, this, as long as you, you know, check their sources and everything, it's, you know, you can get credible people. It's totally doable, and it is just loaded with people looking for, you know, the, the missing shinies that they need and duplicates that they have. So, it's a cool way to do things. Uh, Friddle, Whooper, Dash Bun, Scrafty, Swoobat. We got another one. We got a, whoa, and then we got the Penny. Absolutely solid pull there with the Penny. That is, I, I just love that guard. I do. The Umbreon down there. Mm. 
Super, super nice card. Yeah, I have been uh, focusing on trying to complete the Holland Phantom set. I've been doing it for a while, but uh, I've come across a few of the cards I need. So that's fun to get going once I, I get that more developed. Because uh, the cards are hard to come by. I mean, you can obviously just buy the cards. But I'm trying to collect the Reverse Hollow Master Set. And each of the Reverse Hollows has like a stamp that says Holland Phantoms on them. So they're they're really cool. It's one of my favorite older sets. Uh, Varum, Charmander. Swoobat, Ultra Ball. We've got Clive, we've got Magmar, Raichu, to Magmortar. But it's a... Uh, it's hard to come across the Holland Phantoms cards. Once once I do get it going, you know, a, a considerable chunk of I'll uh I'll share that with you guys, you know, where it's at, what the set looks like. But there's like some really big cards in the set, like the Gold Star uh, Gyarados, Pikachu, Mewtwo. Um, those are some top tier expensive cards, so those are gonna be hard to finagle a trade for, I guess. Um, but we're gonna work at it. So Ghastly, Ralts, Code School, Monus Backpack, Whimsicott, Atticus. We got another, another, we are three shinies in. And I think I may actually need all these. So that is awesome. But the reason I mentioned like that set, uh, the Holland Phantom set is, it's, even if you're um, opening packs to collect cards, maybe that's not, something you're fully into, like completing the whole set. If there's like older sets that you're into, you know, you can pull up like a set list and see like what the cards look like and try to collect those, you know, complete sets of those. It's like buying singles, like of normal cards like this. I mean, you're looking at like a penny or two. So it's just like the weird kind of chase cards, but some of those even aren't that much. So Maybe if you're trying to look at older sets, there are some that are reasonable to try to, you know, even trade for that people have. So just just something to throw out there. Different different thing to do in the um, uh, Pokemon collecting world. Uh, Clive, Oinkalunge. Oh, and we get a solid. These packs from GameStop have been amazing. Pidgeot EX. That's a nice one. So we are, so we had eight packs, we've opened six, and this is our fifth pull. So, Paldean Fate's delivering with these. We had a rough few openings, but we've had some good ones. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, mixed feedback you got about those, uh, that mystery power boxes that I opened on Friday. So, um, I don't know, I still, still have a few of them down there. Gonna, gonna have to dive in those a little bit, scratch the itch. Uh, Varum, Ridgeback, Technical Machine, Crisis Punch, Dash Bun, Pineco, Zatch, and a Clodshire EX. I'm uh, pretty sure I have this card, but I will be double checking. Nonetheless, I mean, if we're averaging almost a pull a pack, so that's uh, that's pretty good. It's really good. But this is our last pack, guys. Just want to remind everyone of the giveaway for February on the amazing rare Rayquaza. Uh, again, you guys enjoyed the giveaway last month, so I figured I'd roll back another slab for this one. And just make sure you subscribe or hit the like button. And let me know in the comments what your favorite poll is from today's video. Hopefully we're going to get the ultimate, ultimate of bangers right here. Uh, we got Magmar, Naoma, Charmander, Dashbun, Nestball, Charmeleon into a Cloudshire EX Whew. and then a Scraggy. So this has been a tremendous opening. Two, four, six, seven. Seven pulls out of eight packs. Can't be mad about that. And again, the price point. Three seventy-five dollars a pack for Paldean Fates. We're, we're getting close to that really nice mark of under $3 a pack. Hope to come across it soon. But anyway, guys, I had a blast doing this. I hope you guys did as well, and I'll see you guys next time.